I'd like to introduce you to my new robot, Omni. Omni is an open source robot that I've built to autonomously navigate indoor environments. Omni comes with a LiDAR sensor for mapping, mesmerizing wheels for impromptu pirouettes, a 1080 camera for robot vlogging, and an interchangeable plunger for all your Dalek cosplay needs. Exterminate. To be honest with you, this robot is definitely not rated for outdoor use. So let's head back to the workshop and I'll tell you more about how this robot was put together. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. I started working on Omni about a year ago in collaboration with EDM Studio, a company focused on creating interactive installations for museums. Together, we had the shared goal of creating an autonomous, modular robotic platform for exploring indoor environments. This clip shows one of the early autonomous navigation tests. The green arrow represents a waypoint command. Knowing that it should avoid all nearby obstacles, the robot immediately calculates an optimized path to the set point and begins moving autonomously. This gave birth to Omni, and today, Omni's gonna die. You see, Omni has several fundamental issues that need resolving, and I have a wish list of extra features that I'd like to see included on the robot. So today, it's time to take the entire toolbox and throw it at this robot until it's nothing but a pile of nuts, bolts, gears, and wires. Then I'll rebuild Omni from the ground up, resolving some of its issues and checking items off my wish list. But before we start tearing things apart like a Jawa scavenging for scrap parts, let's have a quick look at the robot while it still runs. These unique wheels have free spinning rollers that enable movement perpendicular to the wheel's axis of rotation. By combining three wheels in a triangular shape around the robot's circumference, we can rotate on the spot and vector in any direction instantaneously, as opposed to a car that needs to parallel park or do a three-point turn. Even more interesting than Omni wheels is this LiDAR scanner that sends out a laser beam to measure the distance to nearby objects. With this single, spinning, cyclops-like eyeball, I can give the robot sight. And by connecting my Xbox controller, we can start driving around. As I drive around the building, a map begins to form as each subsequent LiDAR scan is stitched together. This is achieved using a SLAM algorithm, or simultaneous location and mapping. SLAM is a method for constructing a map while also tracking the robot's location within the map. To achieve this, the robot collects data from an onboard inertial measurement unit, wheel RPM from motor encoders, and fuses them together using an extended Kalman filter. Combined with feature mapping from the LiDAR scans, we can precisely place the location of the robot within the map. But here comes the interesting part. Once I've created a map of the building, I can send coordinates to the robot. It'll immediately generate a path to the goal and autonomously navigate there, avoiding all obstacles it previously mapped out, as well as any new obstacles in the environment, like pesky, carbon-based human life forms. Throughout the map, you may see random black pixels littered in the hallways where there should otherwise be none at all. These pixels are created from the LiDAR detecting the threaded rods on the robot frame. Obviously, we don't actually want to detect these and register them as obstacles, so in a future update, I'll add a minimum distance threshold for the LiDAR. But how is all of this happening? Inside the robot, underneath its wooden shell, is an apple pie. And underneath the apple pie? is a Raspberry Pi computer running ROS2, or the Robot Operating System. ROS2 is an open source set of tools and libraries for developing robotic applications. The software I've created with the ROS toolkit is structured as a network of nodes, enabling communication between the brain of the robot, its motors, and its sensors, including LiDAR, camera, motor encoders, and an inertial measurement unit. Alas, none of the current sensors can detect stairs. The LiDAR scanner can only detect objects that are in its planar field of view. 
toddlers, cats, and smaller robots won't be seen by LiDAR and may be at risk of annihilation. This is just one reason that today I'm tearing Omni apart so that I can rebuild it from the ground up, resolving some of these issues and incorporating new features from my wish list. I figured this is the perfect time to turn on the camera and bring you along for the journey. Together, over the course of multiple videos, we can look at everything that goes into designing this robot from the mechanical to electrical to software. But this isn't just gonna be a show and tell. I want you to get involved in the project and learn some stuff along the way. That's why this robot is being released as an open source project on GitHub. At the moment, there's just a few of the CAD files for this robot, but over the coming videos, I'll publish the software and electronics. Having stripped away the wooden shell and the top two sensor platforms, we're at the belly of the beast. I could make a whole video on these electronics. One upgrade I've already started working on is replacing the relay board with a professionally fabricated PCB from this video's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay provides an amazing service for quickly manufacturing high quality and affordable custom PCBs. I've fabricated around a dozen different PCBs with them and every time the results have been phenomenal. PCBWay can help take your projects from looking like this to looking like this. If you're a beginner to this, I already have an entire tutorial series on how you can design your own PCBs. So when you're ready, head over to PCBWay to bring your circuits to life. Finally, we're at the last stage of the robot, the drivetrain. The first order of business in the next video is to improve these motor mounts. Mounting the wheel directly on the motor axle and expecting it to support the weight of a metal robot has about as much structural integrity as a boiled spaghetti stick. Come back to the next video for the installation of this much sturdier support. But before you go, here's a little reward for staying till the end of the video. All the components of the robot laid out in a knolling pattern. I'm really struggling to justify the time it took to do this. If you'd like to follow along with this rebuild of Omni, be sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.